I know I learned a lot about the guys in their book, It Takes Two, Drew and Jonathan Scott. I think I have more questions for you. We're going to do these in rapid fire form. All right. So whatever answer comes to mind, and if there's any kind of story, which I know there always is, uh, let us know. So question number one. Right. Who wiped his finger along a filthy chandelier and then licked his finger? Jonathan. Some people are just germaphobes. Ew. I'm not. <laughs> That's ew. Why? It's because Drew, Drew is always like, oh, this is it. It's finally like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you do that? Anyone out there? Ew. <laughs> It, dust is only 90%, you know, and skin flakes and mic oh, droppings. Right? Your sister has to kiss that mouth. Oh, moving right along. Who did not tie his saddle on tightly and ended up upside down under the horse while it was still trotting? <laughs> Boom. Dude, dude, when I stayed on, that he's the most competitive man. He had to win even if he was under the horse. I, I mean, yeah. had, like, all my leg strength, I was holding on to the you horse. You did, you did. And then I stayed underneath. Did you win? Uh, yeah, I think you did. I think I, it, was, it was worth it. I'll say yes. Yeah. Who, who will never do a toothbrush commercial? Never. Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan is like nails on a chalkboard. I can't stand that. The, uh, like a, a right manual toothbrush, that sound is yeah. just, it's like, I can't stand it. It's well, the worst really? thing ever. You know, whenever I want to tick them off, I would just pull out, because I don't use, I use a, an electric tool toothbrush, but I would just pull out a manual and just start doing this. Uh, <laughs> all of them. You hear a scream from his side. That's why I have no friends. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot listen to you brush your teeth. Who sleeps with one eye open? Two eyes open. Really? Jonathan, if he's really tired, it's even worse. But we, when we when we were first, uh, we had roommates, first house we had, I called home to a friend and said, hey, is Jonathan there? And he looked in the room. He's like, yeah, he's here. I said, is he up? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, no, you got to talk to him. He goes in, and Jonathan was sitting up in bed like this. And then he goes in, he talks to Jonathan. And Jonathan goes, huh? What? Weird. It's is so this weird. Freaky? Is this just like a list of all of the weird things I do? Uh, what is yeah. Picking on the contractor. Yeah, pretty much. You also used to sleepwalk. Did you I, yes. not? Yeah, Did your occasionally eyes open? I still do. Yeah. It's, oh my gosh. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta handcuff me to the bed. <laughs> you know, you never know. Oh, what's that's, what those are for. that's another. That's another segment. Okay, which brother asked the other brother's date to the prom? Oh, okay, get this. I asked the high school girl of my dreams. I wanted her to go with me. I asked her, and she's like, <laughs> no. I was like, what? I asked her a day later. She's like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> She maybe at maybe all? she thought I was so, Jonathan. <laughs> apparently, she, she she said that her parents would not allow her to go to the, the dance, and then she asked that night, and they said okay, and that's when Drew asked, and she and I'm like, oh, sure, my no. excuses, oh. no, no, no big deal, stud right so here. Nothing to do with you then. That's but he was fine. the stud in high school. I was actually extremely awkward with with girls at high school and after high school. Yeah. I like beyond awkward, like Ben Stiller movie awkward. Let, let's point yeah. out, I was the as studly as a magician who weighed like less than a buck could, you know, <laughs> yeah. could be. So. You put some major time and effort though into your game, like when it came to women, like yeah. you learned how to be able to be comfortable. I, I read books, I would challenge myself because I didn't want to be like the movie, the 40 year old virgin. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I worked on it and then I would challenge myself each day to, like, to at least approach a girl, not hit on them, but try yeah. and create conversation. And then I would talk to two women and then three and then try to get better until I was like done one. Oh, thank yes. God. Yeah. <laughs> but because you had that confidence, you were like picking up any woman you wanted, which is amazing. That, that was the thing. I was not like, I, I wasn't a pickup guy. I didn't like yeah. going to the bar and picking up girls. It was more about just being able to converse without being awkward like I was. What when his, I was his real yes. problem was he had this thing because he would work out nonstop. Well, I got to get in shape and all this stuff. He would lose his shirt intentionally at any opportunity he possibly <laughs> could. So he'd walk around. Was, oh, how did that happen? My, my it might even happen today. I don't even know. My pickup line was just peck popping. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to speak. That's classy. I could probably keg pop. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how you do that. <laughs> I, I love it. Okay, I need to ask this. Who's Pedro? Pedro, Pedro Pedram. So this is yes. my, so Pedro is our best friend from high school. He's actually Iranian, um, and so his, his family works as, like a second family. His full name is Pedram, mm -hmm. and my dad refused to call him Pedro, his nickname. So anytime we were out with our parents, my, we, hey, Pedro's coming over. My dad from the other room would just be like, Pedram. Well, this is this correcting is, us all how right un, uncultured we were. We we thought he was Mexican when we met him. Yeah. We didn't know he's Iranian, and so we thought his name was Pedro. He just went with it. Right. Yeah, and he, just yes. went, and he didn't tell us until like. 
two years later, he's like, no, you guys were just calling me Pedro, so I went with it. <laughs> His name is Pedro. Yeah, he's our yeah. best friend. I mean, right from the high school days, grade nine, we met. Yeah. And the moment we saw him, uh, it was actually, we were playing tennis, and, and he was from our homeroom, and we saw him go by, and we're like, that's the guy from homeroom, and we called him over, and uh, we wanted to, like, beat him at tennis, right? We thought yeah. we were going to kick his butt. <laughs> there yeah. were four of us. He alone beat all four of us, and I was at that moment, we're like, you have to be part of the group. You're in. Yeah. You're in. And I don't even think it's a matter of being uncultured. When you're young, you don't really get it. Like, there's a yeah. story in the back with you, you and your father, and he's looking at young kids. It's a young black family. He's saying, I remember when you guys were that age, and yeah. you guys were young, and you were like, well, was that, were we black as well? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I, think we just yeah. Like little, I don't know. The, the whole central thesis here is we're idiots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who believes in ghosts? Yeah, I, I think it's out there. I mean, we we so definitely had some strange paranormal activities when we were younger, and yeah. um, you know, so I don't discount anything. We were even pitched a show. Someone after Property Brothers became the number one show. Yeah. Uh, some uh, an executive producer said, "We got a new show for you. It's you're expelling spirits and expelling the design disasters. You're renovating houses and ghosts." <laughs> yeah. Wow. We're like, we we'll did, call you. We you don't call us. <laughs> yeah. We'll get back to you on that one. Okay. Who is addicted to his phone? Oh, Drew is on totally. it. Did you not notice, like, when, on the break, Drew's taking Look selfies. Look under the pillow. And, yeah. Is it there? Look under the pillow. Oh. Yeah. Don't, don't, no, no. Don't applaud his no. abuse of technology. <laughs> no, he's very, I'm trying to keep in touch with you guys through social media, there so, yeah. It's all very noble, guys.